Hello guys and welcome again. Um, this is my thought piece. The second wave is here. The coronavirus is scaring so many people. So many people are turning on the news and seeing the massive headline that is so scary. There is the shock panic. There is the virus coming back. There is the working from home panic. There is, the, would kids go back to school? Would kids stay in school? Now, where do I start? Or where do you even start? Everybody's panicking, but guys, let me be honest with you. Um, we have to be, we have to embrace this. This is real. Coronavirus is very, very real, and it's a very, very serious, life threatening disease that is out there. It's also invisible, which means we can't see it. So, it doesn't mean like, it makes people not too scared about it because you can't see it somewhere. If one, you go out, you're like, well, why, why are people nervous about it? But I must emphasize, it is very, very serious. And is it an illness and the old disease, whatever we want to call it, that we must not take lightly. We must listen to what, what is being said. But at the same time, as much as we want to listen to what is being said, we already know what this virus does. We already know the effects of it. Don't forget the key message that was said at the beginning, wash your hands. You know, so many people have forgotten that number one basic rule of washing your hands frequently. Keep doing that. Keep washing your hands all the time. Because only by you washing your hands would you avoid putting, in, you know, any picked up infection in your mouth or in your nose or through your eyes because you've washed your hands frequently. Don't forget it. Don't forget to urge your kids to do it. Don't forget to urge your colleagues around you to do it. It's not about using a hand sanitizer you need to wash your hands. Secondly, I, I must beg you to really protect your loved ones, people who are vulnerable, people who are the elderly, the people who are living in a nursing home, the people who are younger ones, the pe you know, people who you know are vulnerable. Don't forget to check up on them because they, are, at this time, they need you now more than ever. Because I, I see so many people um, saying this, we could go, they could go shopping, but you do, you have to remember when you are vulnerable, it's actually difficult for you to make that time out to do these things because you are scared and you're not sure how to do these things anymore. You're not sure what you will have if you do get it. So check up on your loved one and help them where possible and be careful when you're around them so they don't get infected. Another, another very important, important thing which I would always urge, urge everyone to do is to be mindful. You know, be mindful of spreading false information. There's so much information about the virus that the supermarket is selling out. There's so much going on um, that this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. Be mindful of uh, spreading false information and try to put what's relevant, what you have absolutely fat for before you spread that information out there. The key thing we must bear in mind is that this virus might be here to stay. We're not sure how long we'll be here for. We're not sure if they will even find a cure for it right this minute. So at the moment, we need to learn to live with it. So it doesn't mean we should stop doing what we love doing, but do it cautiously. Think about it, make plans. And this is something we with chronic illness have always learned to deal with. We've always learned to make plans, think about what we're doing, plan ahead. Just don't do it. We just, I remember I used to love to travel, but I couldn't just travel because I needed to make plans. I needed to make sure I had adequate care and insurance, hospital, if, the, if something goes wrong. Now we're in that situation. Prepare, make plan, think about where you're going. Is it safe if I go there? What will happen? Um, am I allowed to be there? If I'm there, did I pre-book it? Are there that many people in that room? But finally, don't forget to live healthily, smart, exercise wisely and cautiously. You are the only one who can help yourself and the people around you. Stay well, the second wave might be coming, but if you live well, it will not be coming your way. Have a blessed day and wishing you a wonderful day.